uh, for all of us game week, and uh, hopefully y'all are all excited just like we are. You know, this is this is what we do. You know, we get a chance to now have some games to talk about. And, you know, we get all the uh, this is all the stuff all in the off season. It seems like it never ends. You know, from you know, stories and narratives and, and all that stuff. And so now we get a chance to. Uh, you know, actually get to the games, but man, everything for us builds to this. This is this is what it's all about. I mean, we've been going since January, so this is just kind of the next step for us in our in our journey of 2022. And uh, it's finally here, and we're ready to kick it off. I cannot wait to see us play. Uh, I want to see us compete against somebody else. We, we've competed. You know, we had three weeks of camp. That's the longest camp we've had in a, quite a while, uh, several years now. You know, our camp has has been a couple weeks. Uh, but school starting a week later uh, gave us an extra week of, of camp when you're not on the 20-hour clock and all that stuff. So it was a, it was a really good camp, uh, but a lot of competition, uh, a lot of competition on our practice field. And I love how the guys uh, showed up every single day and, and brought it. we got a committed group. Uh, we've got a, a, a team that's really fun to work with. And uh, I think that... Uh, you know, we got excellent leadership, but probably more than anything, you know, I just like the attitude of this team. I like their attitude. I like their work ethic, and uh, you know, I think there's a lot of character in this group. So, uh, and those are those are those are intangibles that win, uh, and I think this team has a lot of great intangibles to go along with the, with the measurables that you need uh, to be successful at this level too. So, uh, again, been a good camp. We're a healthy team, uh, man. That's been a blessing for us. And, you know, we're, we're in a much better spot than we were this time last year, and hopefully hopefully we, that can that can be a trend for us this year. Um, and, um, you know, obviously we got we only got we got two guys that are, you know, two deep guys for us and, and Adam Randall and Xavier Thomas that, that are out for this game. Uh, but both are, both are trending in a really good direction. You know, Adam is full speed every, he's, in fact, he's, working on the scout team every day this week and next week and, uh, you know, really just taking every rep, uh, you know, because that's kind of the, really the last little check for him. Uh, and Xavier's doing great. So, you know, we're in a good spot there and uh, guys are ready to, ready to get to Atlanta and play. Uh, for us, you know, uh, all the openers are, are hard always. Uh, I think for everyone, the opener is, is typically the, the, the toughest uh, – you know, game to prepare for just because you've got so much time. There's so much. There's so you got no tape. You know, you look at last year's tape, but you know, it, it's new. Co it's no new coaches galore. You know, new coordinators. Everybody's got their own thing, and then you've had forever to get ready, and you don't have any video evidence kind of confirming what you think they may do. So you have to prepare for a lot uh, in these type of games, and then you throw in the fact that hey, this is a conference game. You know, this is league play. Uh, so and it's on the road, so it's a this is a always a hard game to get ready for, but uh, especially challenging this year because you know Georgia Tech's got I mean they got a bunch of new faces, uh, I mean a bunch of new faces across the board uh, on the coaching staff and you know with their personnel on the field. So it's a there's a lot of unknowns uh, as we go into it. So it's really about uh, us knowing what we what we need to do and, and knowing who we are and our plan. And, how to apply what we do to whatever we see, uh, you know. So, uh, and then making the right adjustments as we get into the flow of the game. Uh, so, uh, again, excited about getting down there. Uh, we've never played in Mercedes Benz. Uh, I think I've been there one time. I, I went to a Falcons game. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, arena, and uh, excited to, to experience that. So. But again, uh, for us, uh, conference play right out of the gate. Our focus is to really just achieve our first goal, and that's win the opener. And you know, that may seem like a simple goal, but uh, if you look at how that applies to the championships at Clemson, you know, there's been 26 conference championships at Clemson. You know, in all the leagues we've been in uh, historically, and Clemson is 23, two and one. Uh, those championship teams are 23-2 and one in winning the opener, so it's a pretty significant game when it comes to uh, you know uh, 
a championship team. And for us, I'm, I'm seven, and our seven ACC championship teams, we won the opener, every single one of those teams. Our six playoff teams, they all won the opener, all right? Uh, we didn't win the league last year, and we didn't win the opener. And uh, so, you know, uh, our, our goal was simply to try to find a way to achieve first goal, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So, again, excited to see us play, see where we are, uh, how we can improve and uh, and go from there. But uh, also uh, had a real great opportunity yesterday to speak to the uh, uh, children children's health care hospital there in Georgia, uh, and you know got a chance to visit with some of the patients. But I had a sweet little girl named named Hannah Evans, and uh, she's uh, 13, and so I told her I'd give her a shout out today. So Hannah, there's your shout out. I enjoyed visiting with you. Uh, they had me on a robot, and I was roaming around the hospital. I could drive it with my with my keyboard. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so, really good experience, and something that was, you know, made possible by by Chick Fil A and the kickoff that they uh, that they that they got going on. So, a lot of fun yesterday. Uh, with that, we'll take your questions. Trey Williams. He's good. Ready to go. Coach, it was a, a weird game against Tech last year. The lightning delay and turned into a real dog fight and. Um, I'm, I'm sure your guys would, would have a lot of excitement going to this game regardless, but I imagine uh, the fact that it was so close last year gives your, your guys a lot of respect for Tech. Uh, man, heck, heck yeah. I mean, we got respect for anybody uh, that we play, um, and, and especially our conference. You know, we, we got to show up ready every single week. We were fortunate to find a way to win the game last year, and, and uh, you know, we know that uh, we got to do some things better. We had some, some opportunities that we didn't capitalize on. Uh, but man, I thought they they played a, a, a hard fought game just like we did. Again, we were at home, we found a way to win, and now we got to go on the road and find a way to do the same thing. But, you know, they, they'll be as excited as we are. Both of us are undefeated, and one of us is going to come out with a loss. So, you know, uh, <coughs> being excited, don't, don't get it done. You know, we got we to gotta go execute and, and earn it on the field. Dad, uh, Bless you. I know this is a ridiculously high bar, and like you said, you have to go earn it on the field. But as far as going into a season, how does this defensive line depth that you have compare with the other good ones that you've had? Yeah, I mean, on paper, uh, again, you know, they haven't done anything or earned anything, but on paper, it's, it's it reminds me of our 14 defensive you know, line. Uh, you know, everybody talks about 18, and that, that was that was a, a great group, but really. Very young behind. We, we've got lucky. You got to have some luck, you know, to, to win a national championship. There's so much that's got to go into that, and you got to get a little luck along the way. And we were very, very fortunate that Christian and Dexter and Cleveland and Austin played every game, you know, and then and we had Albert. You know, we kind of had five guys, and if you really look at the roster, we were really young and very inexperienced and very unproven behind those guys. And those guys had to play a lot of snaps. Uh, and we had a very young Justin Foster that was moving from linebacker. We had Logan Rudolph, Xavier Thomas was a true freshman, you know, uh, so just and some other young guys in there. And so we we were very fortunate. Uh, and, but that's you know that's what it takes uh, to have a season like that. Our 14 team just the opposite, uh, and they had some misfortune. If you go back and look at that team, our, our 14 team. I mean, heck, all them guys are still, you know, you look at that D-tackle group, Sean Williams, he's, he's on year eight with the Broncos, uh, you know, Carlos Watkins, D.J. Reeder, uh, Grady Jarrett. I mean, you know, I think Josh Watson was in that group as well. I think Brandon Thompson was gone. But, I mean, it was, I mean, it was, and Dan Brooks was hysterical, you know, because Dan would never, he would go, the only guy I knew was going to start was great. But that's just, and it wasn't because he was more talented than anybody, he just, he just separated himself in every area, but that other spot, I mean, these guys are all NFL guys, but, but Dan would grade them all the way through the Tiger Wall and how he, how he, how he felt like they, they looked in pregame, you know, and he'd say, oh, you run out there, you know, and I mean, it just, I never even worried about who was playing. I mean, you, you had Shaq and Vic, you know, two first rounders, Kevin Dodd, a second rounder, Lars Barnes, Corey Crawford, get five guys at the end that can all play. And so they were all experienced guys. So to me, you know, again, everybody talks about 18, but but the makeup of the of the D line reminds me more of 14, just because we have not just depth, we have some really really talented players in there, and uh, you know, I think we can play a lot of people. 
Uh, I don't think there's anybody that's got to, you know, got to go play 60 snaps. And I think that's a that's a blessing for us. So uh, on paper, we, we're, we're talented. We've got good depth there. Uh, we're gonna get X back here soon. Uh, so you know, but they got to go. They got to go do it. You know, I can't compare. I mean, that group led that defense in 14 led the nation in every statistical category. I think every one. They might there might have been one they didn't, and they were second. Uh, you know, so they they were they were. I still have a picture of that defense in my in my office. I mean, that was a really special group. You know, and I can't I can't mention this group in the same breath because they they ain't done anything. You know, but again, don't play it on paper. But it's a it's a talented group that that has the opportunity to hopefully do something special this year um, if we can. Stay together, and then 14. You know, offensively, Sean got hurt. You know, had, had a couple challenges there. But, um, you know, that team finished well, and, and I thought built a good foundation. With your running back uh, and, and the game circumstances were dictated, but is the goal to maybe give the three guys in the depth chart kind of balance it out and give them equal carries? How's that rotation going to work? What, what's the no, nah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think we're going into a game with okay, this guy gets ten carries and this guy gets ten carries and this guy. Gets, you know, I mean, I think you got to just pay attention to the game and the flow of the game. You know, uh, you got to have instincts. And some guys are, some guys are hot. You know, somebody, somebody gets hot every now and then, and you got to, you got to see that. But the goal is definitely to lean on all those guys, and they're all going to play, play in every situation. There's not, there's not a single situation that I don't trust. You know, Kobe and Moffa and, and Shipley, you know, they all do similar things, but yet they all are different and unique in their own way. And so trust them. Uh, they're all going to have big, big moments 